Hey everyone, it's Haley, and today is Bookmas Day 23, so we're going to be talking about my 2019 TBR. So today is the second last day of Bookmas. We have almost made it through all 24 straight days of videos. This is ridiculous. I can't believe that I didn't die in this process because, wow, was it a lot of work. Also, happy Christmas Eve Eve. Today I will be watching Eloise at Christmas Time because it is a tradition of mine to watch it every Christmas Eve Eve. But since it is almost the end of Bookmas and almost the end of the year, I wanted to talk about my my top priority books that I am hoping to read in 2019. Now obviously these aren't all the books that I'm hoping to read in this coming year because that would be a pretty small list but these are the ones that I would really really like to get to and I'm gonna start off with My Old Faithful because it has been on this list for the past four or so years like ever since I started doing Bookmas and that is The Handmaid's Tale by Margaret Atwood. I still have not read it and this year now is like the time to do it because there's a sequel coming out so I need to stop being a terrible Canadian and putting it off. I have a personalized signed copy. I met Margaret Atwood. There's a TV show and I want to watch it, but I can't because I still haven't read this damn book. So in January or February, whatever, I'm going to try and make this my number one priority because I want to read it. I just haven't done it yet and there's no more excuses. I need to do it. On that note, I have a few Shakespeare plays that I would really like to get to. So first we have Much Ado About Nothing, then we have Twelfth Night, and finally Lovely lost. Now, eventually, I would like to say that I have read all of Shakespeare's plays, but the comedies are my favorite, and these are three comedies that I haven't read yet, so I feel like these are a good place to start and are good ones to prioritize, so it's a good place to start on getting some more Shakespeare checked off my list because I've read a fair amount, I just haven't gotten to all of them yet because there are so many. Next is The Scarlet Letter by Nathaniel Hawthorne. I almost said that this was by Hester Prynne, but that just goes to show that I haven't even read this book, but it's so prevalent in in pop culture and especially nowadays it's like The Handmaid's Tale it's kind of had a sudden resurgence so I would really like to get to this finally because I feel like I've read it just because I've heard so many references to it and I know what the story is about so I might as well actually read it. I also am hoping to get to Animal Farm by George Orwell this year. I actually ordered a copy and it's on its way to me now but I'm hoping to read this and my dad also hopes to read it so then we can read it together and have a little discussion about it. Next I would really like to get to the rest of Jane Austen's novels that I I haven't read yet, so I haven't read Emma, Persuasion, or Mansfield Park yet. I feel like Mansfield Park is the one that I've heard mixed things about, but I have read all of them other than these three, so I would like to check the rest off of my list this year. This list isn't all classics, there are just quite a few on here, so I will get to the other more modern books eventually, but next is the rest of the Bronte novels. So I have The Tenet of Wildefell Hall by Anne Bronte, and then I have Wuthering Heights by Emily Bronte. So I have read Jane Eyre by Charlotte Bronte, but that has been my only delve into the Bronte, so might as well read the other two. I know that there's more than that, but at least like starting with the popular ones. Next is A Tale of Two Cities by Charles Dickens. I have read two Dickens novels. I've read A Christmas Carol and I have read Oliver Twist. I read Oliver Twist twice because we had to study it in two of my classes in two years and it was just, I had a lot of Oliver Twist to do since I was studying Victorian literature. Now I own a couple more Charles Dickens novels, but I feel like this is the next one that interests me the most because it is set in the French Revolution and I just like like some historical fiction and that's a time period that I've never really read anything about so I think that would be very interesting. And finally for classics is The Jungle Book by Rudyard Kipling. It's kind of surprising to me that I haven't read this because I have read so many children's classics but there are a number of other children's classics I would like to get to. Basically all the ones that I have on my shelves that would be awesome but I'm prioritizing this one for now. Now I have a ton of books on my TBR that have been there for a very long time and I just keep on putting them off so I would really like to try and and get to those in 2019 and one of those is The Forbidden Orchid by Sharon Biggs Waller. I remember when this book was coming out I was really excited for it and then I didn't end up picking it up until much later and now that I finally have it I haven't listened to the audiobook or anything like that even though I have the audiobook. It's just for some reason I haven't been able to finish it. Like I even started reading it on my way to France and then I was busy in France so then I didn't get the chance to finish it but I think the concept sounds so intriguing that I would really like to get to it. So this is a historical fiction novel and it's all about this girl who goes on a quest for like this flower and it's like a really rare flower and her father was going to try and find it because that's his job but then he goes missing so then she kind of goes on a quest to try and find him and this flower. That at least is my memory of it but I very well could open up this book and be like what is this? What is happening? It wouldn't be the first time and I'm sure it won't be the last. Next is Wicked Like a Wildfire by Lana Popovich. This is another book that I've had on my TBR for a very long time and I honestly 
honestly don't know how I'm going to feel about it. I don't remember what this one is about at all, but the cover is just so gorgeous that I can't bring myself to unhaul it. And it does have blurbs from a couple of authors that I really enjoyed, so Evelyn Sky and Roshni Chokshi, but I just haven't picked it up yet, and I would really like to make it a priority because it's just been sitting on my TBR for a very long time, so I need to see if I will like it, especially because the sequel is out now. And that is the same case with The Glass Bear by Lauren DiStefano. This is another one that has been on my TBR since it came out because the concept was very intriguing to me, but I just never ended up picking it up, and now I've heard some mixed things, so I don't know if I really want to read it, and actually now that I think about that, that is the same thing with Grace and Fury by Tracy Banghart. I've heard some mixed things about it, and I've heard just a lot of differing opinions, so I'm trying to decide if these two and quite a few others on my TBR, to be honest. Heart of Thorns by Brie Barton is another one. Basically, I want to know if they are worth my time. And finally, I have a ton of sequels. I would really like to get to all the sequels on my TBR in 2019, so I have some that have been here for ages, and I just really need to read them. So speaking of ones that have been on my TBR for ages, we have A Lot by Mary E. Pearson in the Remnant Chronicles and in that universe, so we have Heart of Betrayal, which I have read, but I don't remember anything from it, so I would have to reread that, and then we have The Beauty of Darkness, which is the final book for that trilogy, and then we have The Companion sort of thing. It's just set in the same universe, so I don't really need to read these two before, but I want to. Dance of Thieves. Next, we have Thunderhead by Neil Schusterman, which got so much crazy hype when it came out, and I did really enjoy Scythe, so I do really want to get to this to see what all the sudden hype is about. Next is the next two books in the Queens of Renthia series. These just came out so quickly that I now have two of them that I need to read, so we have The Reluctant Queen and Queen of Sorrow. So I read the first book and thoroughly enjoyed it, so why I haven't read these is an absolute mystery to me. Next, we have Blood of Wonderland by Colleen Oakes, which is the sequel to Queen of Hearts, and I actually pre-ordered last week the final book in paperback, and I think it's coming out in a couple of weeks. So now I will have the entire trilogy in the paperback, so there are no more excuses for me putting off these sequels. Next is Before the Devil Breaks You by Libba Bray. I almost finally finished this audiobook, but then Halloween season was over, which I obviously can read this any time of year, but it's just such a good Halloween read that I like to read it around that time of year. So I was like three quarters of the way through, and then I just ended up stopping the audio book because I was doing my 24-hour Halloween readathon, so bottom line is the second year in a row I haven't finished this and I really need to get to it because the Diviner series is so cool and I want to finally finish the story. And by finish I mean by the time I'm done it the sequel will be out. Next is The Defiant by Leslie Livingston. This is the sequel to The Valiant and there is a third book that's coming out this year that I pre-ordered, so I need to get on this. Next is Map of Fates by Maggie Hall. I read the first book in this series, The Conspiracy of Us, last year I believe and I was surprised with how much I enjoyed it, so why I haven't read the sequel, once again, very mysterious. And the final book on my 2019 TBR is A Reaper at the Gates by Saba Tahir, which is the third installment in the An Ember in the Ashes series, and I talked about this in my Books I Wish I Read in 2018 video that was like the second day, no, fifth day of Bookmas, I think? Yes, yeah, so it was definitely day five, so I will link that down below for you guys because all of the books in that video are also included on this list. So that is all for Bookmas Day 23. I hope you guys enjoyed. Please Please let me know what book you are planning on reading in 2019 and everything else that's on your TBR going into the year. If you guys did enjoy this video, don't forget to click that subscribe button and then click that bell icon so you'll be notified whenever I post. I'm putting up a new video every single day up until Christmas, but that's obviously almost over. I can't believe we're almost at the end of Bookmas, but after that I will go back to my regular schedule of putting up a new video every Wednesday and Friday. You can also follow me on all of my social media, all of my handles and links and all of that stuff will be down below for you guys. So thank you guys so, so much for watching and I will see you tomorrow for Bookmas Day 24, where I'm going to be talking about my 2019 bookish resolutions and looking back on 2018. So I will see you tomorrow. Bye!